How's it going guys? This is Byron with Modern Muscle here. I just wanted to quickly go over our dial bore gauge kit. So when you open up this box, you're going to pull out the main body of our dial bore gauge here and insert our indicator in. And what we're looking for, this shows you how much preload we have on the indicator. We're looking for uh, about a hundred thousandths there. Get it all squared up, tighten this down. Now you'll see when we push on our indicator here, it works. All right, I'm gonna grab the two inch uh, indicator tip out here. We're gonna lock it down there, the little lock collar. We want to loosen our thumb screw here. That way we can rotate our dial back and forth. And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our micrometer here. We're going to unlock it here. Forward is locked. Rearward is unlocked. This lets you rotate our thimble here. So now we're going to take our micrometer. We're going to come over to our crank on our rod journal here. And we're going to come down until we hear it ratchet and we're going to work the micrometer back and forth. We're then going to lock it down with the lock here. Pull our micrometer off of our crankshaft very carefully. Don't want to scratch it. I'm going to insert it into a micrometer stand here. You can also use a, uh, like a small vise. Just make sure you wrap a, a rag around the micrometer here to keep it from getting damaged. Take our dial bore gauge here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work, we're going to work the uh, dial bore gauge left and right and up and down, and then we're going to zero out our gauge here. So we get left and right and about a thousandth off. And this is this is this is the trickiest part, so it's going to take some time and get this right because this is critical right here. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to take this and we're going to lock the dial down so it doesn't rotate on us. And then what you always want to do is you always want to double check it just one more time. And again, we're going to work that dial indicator up and down and left and right. Okay, looks good. Now what we're do, what we have here, we have our connecting rod that already has our bearing uh, installed in it, and we've already torqued our rod bolts here. So that's absolutely critical that the rod bolts be torqued. So we're gonna take our dial indicator, and we're going to very carefully put it into our rod with the bearings already in it, and we are going to sweep back and forth, and I'm gonna get a little closer here I'm looking at right just under two and a half thousandths, which is perfect. Uh, the other thing you want to do is make sure you're centered up and down in the rod. And I'm right on, right at two and a half thousandths clearance, which is perfect. You want about one uh, thousandth and eight tenths to two and a half thousandths on your rod bearing clearance for just about any of our drop in piston rod kits or hemi stroker kits. So, bring the indicator in here where you can see it and that's all very quickly I just wanted to cover the graduations on the dial bore gauge or the indicator itself uh, and cover what they mean so basically from zero the very first short mark would be one half of a thousandth then the longer mark over from zero would be one full thousandth of an inch so if you're uh, if you have your indicator zeroed and your needle is, you know, the first short mark away, you have half a thousandth clearance. So basically what we are looking for here is a thousandth and eight tenths to two and a half thousandths. So you want, after your indicator zeroed and you're checking your rod bearing clearance, you're looking for it to be just before the second long mark. And then you want it to be no further than the uh, third short mark away for on your indicator.